This video demonstrates how you can generate code from a trained deep neural network in MATLAB for ARM processors. The target ARM platform must support the NEON instruction set architecture like the ARM Cortex-A family. The generated code leverages the ARM Compute Library, which is a collection of low-level software functions optimized for certain ARM architectures, targeting image processing, computer vision, and machine learning applications. We will consider pedestrian detection as the deep learning application example and Raspberry Pi 3 as our ARM target. Using command line API, I can generate code for the network. And let's take a quick look at the generated code here. We have generated a C++ class containing an array of layer classes, and we have the setup, predict, and post setup methods. The predict method invokes prediction for each of the layers in the network. The post setup function does the allocation of buffers for each layer. These buffers are used by ARM compute library during inference. CNN build underscore RTW is a generated make file, and we are going to use this make file to build the application on the target. We have written a main file that uses OpenCV to read the video input file and calls the predict method for inference and to display the output. I have exported these files to my Raspberry Pi and I can now build the code on the target. Let me ensure that the path for the ARM compute library is set correctly for the build to be successful. Once the build process is complete, we can launch the EXE with a test video. And we now have the neural network for pedestrian detection running on the Raspberry Pi at about six frames per second. You can see that in each frame, the network is trying to detect a pedestrian in different regions of interest, but maybe tracking a pedestrian once detected might be smarter. But that's a topic for another time. You can refer to the resources below the video to learn about code generation for deep learning applications.